Hi, Brittany here with Vibrant Rose Digital Solutions. I just wanted to say thank you for letting me take the time to make you this quick video today. Uh, there's a few things I just wanted to go over with you. Um, I looked and it doesn't look like you have a website. So that's one of the things that I will be showing why those are important and how to get the analytics working for your website to be able to bring more business and traffic to your business. Uh, so the things I want to go over today with you are going to be content, backlinks, and citations. So content is going to be made up of anything on a front page of a website. So any wording, photos, how the photos are saved, what's behind the photos, all make up content. So Google does like to see on a website 1,500 to 2,000 page uh, words on a home page. Within that content, you want to be able to add keywords that you want your business to be found for. So a keyword is anything that someone might type into Google looking for a particular service or product. And in your content, you can place these keywords throughout to tell Google exactly what terms you want your website to be found for. So that way you're able to start to rank for different things that people are searching for, which is something that would be a big help. And I will go over the analytics of a competitor's website here in a moment. Um, so another thing that I would want to go over with you uh, would be to be able to utilize all these on a website and get your business, especially up here on to uh, the Google map pack. Now this is the best place to be. It's super imperative to come up in the Google map pack because what it's going to do is it's going to get you more traffic to your website. 30 to 40% of traffic goes straight to your website or they give you a call from the map pack. And there's ways about increasing your rankings. So making sure that you have a ton of reviews, also, make sure you have everything filled out on your Google business profile. There is an about us section that is 750 words. You want to make sure that whole thing is used and that you are utilizing keywords in that section as well. So you want to be responsive to your reviews and messages. Make sure you keep posting uh, branded posts, geolocated photos on social media, things like that's all going to help with your relevance. Now, another thing that's important is what we call citations. So this is anywhere that your business name, address, phone number are in things like Yellow Pages, Yelp, Better Business Bureau. And now by going out and giving your information to as many people as possible, that it's going to increase your relevance and help with your website as well. So like I said, I was going to go over. This is a competitor's website and showing like the content and stuff. They have quite a bit of content. They could probably use a little bit more and they have some good pictures here. Now, also going over the analytics. So when you look at analytics of a website, you're able to see the trust and the strength in a website. You're able to see what keywords you're ranking for and then the backlinks. So what a backlink is, is anywhere you find one website linking to another website. So these links act like an endorsement of your websites from others, which Google then uses to build trust in your business by seeing others vouching for you. Now, not all of these backlinks are the same. They are not created equal. Some of the th links are more spammy. Some are more authoritative. So you really want to go after the links that are more authoritative. That's going to help bring that power to your website. So the idea is this is just one competitor in the area. Definitely could search a lot more. And then we're able to see what the keywords and what backlinks everybody is utilizing and ranking for, because then you're able to search like what keywords and see if those are something that you could utilize on your uh, website. This is not the best keyword. It's not a buyer intent keyword because this is their keyword for their, for their own business. But usually like say handyman services, Oakley, California, like those, you know, those are buyer intent keywords like I have up here. That's what people will be searching for, you know, handyman services near me. And you want to make sure that you have the service areas linked to your website and to this page here. So when people do look it up, they'll be able to find you. So I want to say thank you for allowing me to make this video. I greatly appreciate it. And if you could possibly give me some feedback and let me know if the, any of the tips and tricks were I'm skipping over my words here. If any of these tips and tricks were helpful for you, please let me know. I greatly appreciate it. I will be attaching my phone number and my email. So you could always call, text, email, whatever works best for you. If you ever have any questions, thank you so much. And I hope you have a good night.